So my friend Jeff that I've known since high school is a really good friend of mine, but he desperately needs a new gaming PC. He has for quite some time now. I think he built his rig in 2012 with an Intel Core i5 3570K quad core four thread processor and an Nvidia GTX 580 if I'm not mistaken, which for its time, great gaming PC. But fast forward roughly seven years later and it's certainly starting to show its signs of age. So I thought it'd be fun if today we surprised Jeff with a brand spanking new gaming system that uh, will hopefully blow his freaking mind. We have a lot of great hardware here and Jeff will certainly utilize all of it because he is a gamer first and foremost and he's certainly no stranger to streaming. Apart from the motherboard, cables, and case, all the parts you see here were graciously provided by some awesome vendors. So huge shout outs to AMD, Corsair, and G-Skill. You guys can find links to any of this stuff down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into it. We've got a Ryzen 7 3700X from AMD. Don't be fooled by the Ryzen 9 box that I drew a big seven on. It's just because I don't have a Ryzen 7 retail box on hand. It's kind of hard not to love this Zen 2 based 7 nanometer CPU with its scalable AM4 platform, 8 cores and 16 threads giving us outstanding multi-threaded performance, and its gaming performance as well. Albeit it's not quite as fast as its direct competitor, the Intel Core i7-9700K, but it's quite a bit cheaper than that CPU right now, and all those other great features like the scalability we mentioned, PCIe Gen 4 support, and so on. So a funny story about the motherboard, it was actually one of the first parts that I picked out for the build. Uh, I reached out to MSI and requested a B450A Pro Max. They sent it over, great board, but as I started parting out the rest of the system, I realized, wait, we have a PCIe Gen 4 SSD, we have a PCIe Gen 4 graphics card, but our motherboard doesn't support it on the B450 platform. So I made a last minute executive decision to upgrade Jeff's board to an MSI X570 ACE. It is gonna allow him to leverage that PCIe Gen 4 technology, have that greater bandwidth, and who knows, if he does begin video editing more often, uh, and he starts dealing with more demanding footage down the line, then this is certainly gonna help him out along with the SSD that we have on hand here, which I might as well just rattle it off now. Uh, it's the Corsair MP600 one terabyte NVMe PCIe Gen 4 M.2 SSD with the built-in heatsink, which this board already has M.2 heatsinks built in. We'll probably just throw one of them away, or I should say box it up uh, so that we can still use the native heatsink on this because it, it works pretty well. Uh, we also have G-Skills Trident Z Neo DDR4 kit, 16 gigabytes here of 3600 speed RAM at cast latency 16. With a high-end system like this, you definitely don't want to skimp out on memory frequency due to the impact it has on frame rates with a Ryzen system. So uh, really happy to have that kit on board. Thanks again, G-Skill for that. Uh, moving on, we have the RM850 watt power supply from Corsair, excellent unit really solidly built, super quiet, like super ultra low noise, and it's got uh, fully modular design, 80 plus gold certification, so highly efficient, and all around a fantastic, reliable option. Uh, just below that, we have the Corsair H100i Pro RGB, 240 millimeter liquid AIO. Not only does it look really nice, but it's a good performer, and it integrates seamlessly with the IQ software, so you can adjust fan curves and lighting and things like that. Uh, and just to the right of that, you'll see we have some uh, additional bling and airflow that we're contributing to the system. Corsair's LL120 and LL120 well, 140 fans will be going inside. Uh, we'll actually be replacing the two radiator fans on the AIO with two of the 120s, and then the 140s will be spread out elsewhere in the case, as you'll see. I really love their versatility that allows them to be used effectively as case fans or as radiator fans, as they do move quite a bit of air and have decent static pressure as well. Now, our stock PSU cables aren't hideous or anything, but I wanted to step it up just a little bit with a sleeved extension kit from Easy DIY. It's one of those like inexpensive Chinese brands that does cable sleeving, but they do cable sleeving right. Very cheap kit, but the quality is pretty decent as well. So we're gonna be slapping that in there along with our graphics card. So we have the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT from Sapphire. This is their Nitro Plus model. I really love the 5700 XT. I think the price to performance is actually a better value overall than its direct competitor, the NVIDIA RTX 2060 Super. It's on that fresh seven nanometer RDNA architecture that supports PCIe Gen 4 and comes included with the entire AMD suite of technologies like Radeon image sharpening, anti-lag, uh, FreeSync 2, Radeon Chill, and so much more. And then Sapphire builds upon that beautifully with its Nitro Plus model, giving us a revamped power delivery with a custom PCB. We've got a brand new cooler that's a lot cooler and quieter than the reference model, no surprise, and a bunch of other nice features like a dual BIOS and a metallic backplate with addressable RGB lighting. That brings us to our final part, which is 
the case. This is the Eclipse P600S from Fantex. A fantastic chassis, fan, Fantex, Fantex. I'm not gonna try to make a pun right now. This is using the exact same interior layout as the Vault X, which is a good thing because it's a brilliant design, but this particular chassis can actually be optimized for airflow or acoustics, depending on whether or not you leave these modular panels on the top and front. Additionally, tempered glass side panel, power supply shroud, all the bells and whistles that you come to expect from a relatively high-end case in the $150-ish price range. Again, links to all this stuff can be found in the video description below, guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and start building because I have a lot of screwing to do. some rosé. You brought some rosé for me? Yeah, why are you feeling? Don't mind, I'm, I'm just vlogging. Really quick, Jeff. Yeah. Everyone has already given me their opinion on the, the system that I just built. Yeah. I need yours. We're gonna go over here really quick. Okay. And uh, very polarizing. Some why? people love it. Why? Some people hate it. Why? I just need your opinion on it really quick. Why do people hate it? I don't oh, know. Oh, What do you think of it? It looks so Okay, nice. I'm not gonna tell you who likes it and who doesn't like it, but yeah. I need your honest, unbiased opinion. Dude, obviously this is sick. All right, well this good, because cool. Well, good because uh, dude. I'm glad you like it because it's yours. Who? Yours. What? Dude, you're so full of <laughs> man. That's your PC, dude. <laughs> no. How do you like it? What? Yeah. No. I was worried you're gonna hate it. Dude. Oh my god! What the f man? <laughs> what? All right, I hate it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, too late. What the hell? You already took it, man. Oh, Damn it's me. yours now. What but... is this freaking graphics card? It's gigantic. Kyle, I have something to tell you. You're pregnant. No, I just bought an Alienware for like 3500 oh. You did not. I didn't. You <laughs> You <laughs> You almost gave me a heart attack. I'll take it! <laughs> yeah, man, I, uh... Should I look in the camera and say no, something? No, you don't have to look at anyone. Like and um, subscribe. <laughs> well, you're obviously obligated to say that. Alright, dude, well, I don't want to keep this video going on too much longer, but... Okay. Uh, oh I hope God. you like it, man. Yeah, dude. I love you, dude. Oh, you son of a I love you, too. Well, there it is, guys. If you enjoyed the video, toss a like before you go. Get subscribed for more tech content on the way. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Pew!